Electric vehicles, EVs, have been considered the future of transportation. They offer a sustainable alternative to traditional gasoline-powered cars. However, despite the high expectations, many EV companies struggle to succeed. Various factors contribute to the high failure rate in this industry. High costs, tough competition, and strict regulations often lead to failure. Market competition and saturation are key factors in the downfall of EV companies. The market is very crowded, making it hard for both new and existing companies to succeed. Traditional automotive giants like General Motors, Ford and Volkswagen have joined the EV market with high investment, allowing them to invest in a lot of research. Well-known brands and a wide range of dealerships give them an extra advantage because people are more likely to trust and buy EVs from familiar companies. Many new organizations have been attracted to the growing EV market, which has made competition for the market share even tougher. New corporations often introduce new technologies and continuously innovate to stay determined. Market saturation is another significant issue. When many enterprises offer similar products, it's hard for anyone to be unique, leading to price competition and smaller profits. For example, Tesla has managed to stay ahead due to its early entry, continuous innovation and strong brand loyalty but faces tough competition from GM and Ford in EVs. In China, NIO and Jiping battle with global brands, all boosted by government support that attracts more competitors. Newcomers like Lucid Motors and Rivian struggle to stand out in a crowded market. So to summarize this scenario, the EV industry is fiercely competitive and crowded. High investment demands and capital needs often drive EV companies to failure. Often, they need high investment because of developing advanced technology and high-quality materials. Also, the need to build factories, get raw materials, and meet regulations, which all add to the costs. Marketing and creating a strong supply chain further increase the costs, and spend money to follow strict environmental and safety rules, which also adds to their costs. Technological challenges are also a leading reason why EV companies collapse, facing several big challenges that affect how they're made. One major problem is with their batteries, which are very expensive to develop and improve. The cost of EV batteries varies widely. Currently, the price ranges from around $100 to $200 per kilowatt hour (kWh). Making batteries that last longer and charge faster costs a lot more. A report by McKinsey & Company says that batteries make EVs expensive, don't hold enough energy for long drives, and they take a long time to recharge. Another issue is charging stations, setting up places where people can charge their EVs. Different EVs use different plugs, which can make it hard to charge up. The electrical grid needs to be strong enough to handle all the extra power that EVs need when they charge. Keeping batteries at the right temperature is another problem. They can get hot when they're used a lot, and good cooling systems are needed to keep them safe. The motors that drive EV wheels are pricey because of their advanced tech. Electricity flow, such as inverters and converters, also raises manufacturing costs. Safety systems like collision detection and autonomous driving need advanced sensors and software. Using top-notch materials and techniques to make vehicles lighter and more efficient can raise production costs and rely on a lot of software in EVs. It's really important that it works well and stays safe from hackers. Regulatory policies and hurdles are also major points in the breakdown of EV companies. The government maintains rules that keep batteries safe for use. The United States, the European Union and others have periodically updated their safety regulations to address issues such as battery performance, handling and crash safety. Power grids need to get better to handle more electric cars. Another hurdle is how to recycle old batteries so they don't hurt nature. Electric car companies pay taxes like income tax, property tax and others, making them financially weak. Supply chain problems are another reason why EV companies fail. EVs involve several challenges in the supply chain that affect their production and availability. One major issue is ensuring a steady supply of advanced materials which are crucial for EV operations like lithium sourced from Australia, Chile, Argentina and China. Cobalt is mostly mined in the Democratic Republic of Congo, which is a major global producer. Other producers include countries like Russia, Australia and Canada, which can be geopolitically sensitive. Shortages or higher prices of these materials can disrupt manufacturing. EVs also rely on specialized components, such as electric motors and power electronics, sensors which can face shortages from global suppliers, affecting production schedules. Scaling up manufacturing capacity to meet the growing demand for EVs is another challenge. 
Low consumer adoption is a key reason driving the failure of the EV industry, who face challenges in becoming popular with consumers. One big issue is that EVs can cost more upfront than regular cars. Repairing costs for EVs are very high. No professional repair is available for EVs. There is also uncertainty about how long EV batteries will last and how much an EV can go on one charge, especially for long trips, because people can't charge them on the road. Charging stations are not easily available like petrol pumps, running out of power before they can find a charging station. Some buyers think EVs don't perform as well or are less convenient than traditional cars, with concerns about speed and power. People are also wondering about the resale value of EVs because technology is changing quickly. These concerns make some people hesitant to switch to electric cars. EV companies have struggled due to mistakes in their plans, slowing down their progress and causing them to fail. Firms have faced challenges that slowed their progress. Some organizations talked up their technology too much, which left people feeling let down when the cars didn't meet expectations. Others tried to make too many cars too quickly without making sure everything worked right, causing problems with quality and delays. Some only focused on a few types of cars, missing opportunities to meet diverse consumer needs and enter various markets. Problems with customer service and how much the cars cost also make it harder for companies to keep people interested in buying electric cars. Several well-known EV startups have not succeeded or have encountered serious difficulties, such as Eptera by Stephen Frambo and Chris Anthony, founded in 2006 to make ultra-efficient three-wheel electric cars. Initially closed in 2011 due to funding problems, tried to restart in 2019 but continued to face financial difficulties. In 2008, another company called Bright Automotive gave a new idea of a plug-in hybrid light cargo vehicle, but unfortunately failed because they couldn't get a crucial loan from the Department of Energy, even though General Motors initially funded them. Then, Henrik Fisker launched Fisker Automotive in 2007, which failed because of money problems and issues with the quality of the Fisker Karma. The battery supplier went bankrupt and faced tough competition from Tesla. Problems with the leaders and the damaged reputation also hurt them. There is another failed electric vehicle company known as Faraday Future, FF, founded in 2014 with ambitious plans to revolutionize the automotive industry with high-tech electric vehicles by using eco-friendly materials with features that help avoid accidents like self-driving. Despite having many strengths, faced challenges with finances, construction and materials that prevented from succeeding in the market. Leadership problems inside the company made things worse, kept changing its plans, making investors unsure. What electric car do you like the most? Write any suggestions for EVs companies in the comments section. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button for more informative videos.